All right, everybody. Um, talking today about fuel lines, um, particularly small engine like your hedge trimmers or string trimmers, and Tigon Tigon fuel lines. Um, why they're much better, they last longer, much more resistant to the um, uh, alcohol um, fuels, ethanols. Um, so I do have, that's pretty much the stuff that you would buy at most of your stores around town to replace your fuel lines and, and it works. I mean, these will, these will definitely fix your broken fuel lines or, you know, repair whatever's going on. The problem is, is they don't last very long, um, uh, and they cause a myriad of other problems. Um, they break down and uh, cause your carburetors to pretty much gum up and and uh, just not very good and this right here is called Tigon and uh, it's kind of a yellow material it's a little bit more flexible and uh, they use it in all kinds of different stuff uh, I think they've used it in medical industry uh, and it's very um, resistant to um, chemicals uh, you can see this is the stuff that you normally buy and it's it's flexible it's just not quite as flexible as the Tigon is so I'm going to do a little challenge here I'm going to I have a beaker here that's got some uh, mixed gas in it it's a little bit uh, rich in oil <laughs> but uh, nonetheless it is uh, the normal gas it's like 10% ethanol um, fuel and I'm going to go ahead and put both of these fuel lines into this uh, for a week and just see uh, see what happens to them at the end of a week so we're going to go ahead and pop those on in there make sure it's down in there all the way best I can and um, we'll come back in a week and see how everything came out Alrighty, everyone uh, it's been a week and I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, the cover off here. See what we've got. Uh, looks like some of the stuff is or fuel is evaporated. Here's our Tigon. Let's set that here. And... Oh my gosh! So here is the other. Um, I guess like a rubber nylon plastic fuel line and it's like changed colors and everything uh, this one is still really bounces back and everything and here is the other one it's all it's like harder now I can barely squeeze it um, still still moves a little bit but it uh, it's definitely harder uh, in fact let me this is what it looked like before so you can really see the difference between how how well this holds up in the ethanol compared to you know, your standard one that you may get at the you know, replacement store, or, uh, hardware store, or any of these little kits. I would do definitely double check and make sure that you get the Tigon type line. It's generally about this color, um, and it's very, very resilient. Anyway, uh, looks like our test is over. Um, so, uh, thanks for thanks for being part of it, and have a great day.